Hello everyone, welcome to myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to build a chatbot using IBM Watson Assistant service. The IBM Watson Assistant service, which is formerly known as Watson Conversation service, they have renamed it recently. So in this video tutorial, we'll, our, this is the part one of the video. Uh, tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to design the chatbot in Watson assistant. To before proceed further let us first fix a use case which we are going to build. There are there could be n number of examples to build the chatbot. For an example you can build the chatbot for your pizza delivery maybe some of your you know consumer business and so in this particular use case we have chosen the restaurant reservation theme so what we are going to do here is basically the chatbot will give the user three options what they want to do one is make a reservation second is cancel a reservation third is you know user can reschedule a reservation so for the make a reservation, the following are the entries like which date, time, number of person, city and finally a confirmation. And the result is save the data into MySQL table, tell the user the reservation number and you know call a REST API to tell the user about the weather of the city on the reserve, reservation date. So this particular demo will be to call a REST API, I will show you how to call a REST API you know and you know which is a third party rest api the weather service api and it will give the weather details and second point the cancel reservation only the input is the reservation number and finally confirmation and you know then the validate the input reservation number and you know the cancel the reservation number on the database uh, based on the validation result third is the reschedule where you know the entry needed is reservation number and the date so result is validate the input reservation number again and update the record with new date if the validation is successful. So this is the use case but in this part one video tutorial will be only focused on designing the what's an assistant okay. I am not going into the PHP coding part because that will be taken care into the next parts okay. Of next parts of the video tutorial. So now let us begin with the Watson assistant. Okay, to continue with the Watson conversation service, first you need to sign up into IBM cloud which is known as Bluemix. There if you go to this particular URL console.bluemix.net, you will find these two options either a login or create a free account. So if you want, if you do, if you do not have any account already created you can sign up and sign up is free and for the free account you will get all the uh, applications light version. So I already have an account here. So I will sign up with my account. So at the very first time I have logged in and basically this is the dashboard. So, so basically you know at the very first time it you know it already has created a space for me which is a dev which is required. So now you know we need to subscribe to the Watson service. So I will go to this particular Watson assistant service which was for formerly known as Watson conversation service. So there you know I can browse all the services but if you want to build a chatbot quickly you can get started here but you know we are going to do it from the scratch. So I will be subscribing over there. So this is the IBM Watson assistant service. You see the light icon over there. So from your free account you know you can subs subscribe to all these services which has the light you know mentioned over there. So but this you see the natural language classifier it does not have any light. So you cannot subscribe to this particular service. So I am going into the I Watson conversation service. So Watson assistant, 
just I'll give a name over there. Okay, and maybe you know like my online edu something like that. Now the pricing plan. It gives you the details, the limitation basically. This is the free pricing plan. So, 10,000 API calls per month, 5 workspaces, up to 100 intents and 25 entities. That is it. So, I am going to create it. If you are obviously using the paid version or the higher version, you can subscribe to the standard as well as the premium version. Okay. So, here is the IBM Watson assistant that page the subscription page that it has so i have the if you go to the service credentials here you will be having the service credentials okay uh, for uh, for you know uh, to to call it from outside from your php or node.js or you know dot net application so i will create a credential later on but for this tutorial i do not need it and also uh, now you go to this and you need to launch the tool. If you go for the documentation, you can see it here. If you go look at the demo, you can see it here. So, let me show you even if you log in after you know once you subscribe to this, how your dashboard looks like. So, you see the Cloud Foundry services. This is the Watson service that I have you know subscribed into. So, let us I can click over here and then the same page opens again and I can launch. So, once I launch the tool, it gives me the options to create the workspace. So, what is an workspace? Workspace is nothing but you can think of as a project that you are working on. In this case, a restaurant uh, reservation chatbot. You can have multiple projects, multiple you know uh, workspaces there, up to 5 for the free service. Now, if I go to the workspace here. You see already a card dashboard sample is already been created. So, we are not going to you know see that one, we are going to create a fresh one. So, I am going to create a new workspace. And then create. So, now the you see the first time I do not have any intents, I do not have any entities, I do not have any dialogues. So, this is how the things looks like. Now, you know, let me explain what are briefly, what are the intents, entities and dialogues are. These are the three main things you need to build a chatbot. So, intents are basically the purpose of the user, to detect the purpose of the user. So, in this case, we have, we will be having basically three intents. One is user want to make a reservation, user wants to cancel a reservation and user wants to reschedule a reservation, right. So, basically there will be three entities, intents, I am sorry, uh, three intents mostly in this case and uh, so intents are basically the, uh, the, the verb part of like what the user wants to do, okay. And then coming to entities part. So, entities are basically the nouns or you can think entities as a object which will be driving your uh, restaurant reservation things like here you know I will be having the entities like date, time, number of person, city and finally a confirmation correct. So, these are these are the things that you can you know think of a entities which needs to be there. So, entities are basically your data what are the data that you are dealing with. So, within the entities there are two parts one is the your created entity and one is the system entities. So, so Watson assistant has there are you know seven uh, inbuilt entities which it can detect and you need to you know turn it on and off based on your system need. So, we will see you know definitely we will need the date and the number uh, we will see the if we need the location one or not. So, basically the system person, system time, we also need the system time because you know you see here we need the time and date and also the number of person. So, these are the entities that we will create, uh, we will enable basically, this already been created. And next is the dialogue part. So, basically in the dialogue part, this is the backbone of your uh, 
chat flow how the conversation flows into like if you type hi the bot should be able to recognize that hi as a greetings and then you know should respond to you and then continue the flow so the content catalog is another good feature is added by watson if you want to build a chatbot of this category of like banking you know then customer care e-commerce general you can directly add this intents you know into your workspace so ibm already has created this pre built intents for your industry depending upon the category